Johannesburg's University of the Witwatersrand celebrates its 90th anniversary this year. Witz University is intimately connected to the city's mining legacy. The university's roots are firmly embedded with that industry, having developed from the South African School of Mines. In 1922, it was formally established as the first university in the city of Johannesburg. Today, Witz University has an international reputation for academic excellence and is one of South Africa's top institutions of higher learning. We attended the celebration and filed this report. The University of the Witwatersrand, or WITS, is quite easily one of the most recognized institutions of higher learning in South Africa. It's also highly regarded as a leading international university. The university reached another important milestone when it celebrated 90 years in existence. It's a wonderful milestone for WITS to have achieved. Um, it is actually a beginning of a very long history of this university. If one looks at history of universities worldwide, they survive everything that goes on in the world, good and bad, um, and universities keep on going. So I'm sure this will keep on going for a long time to come. And today's event basically, you know, <coughs> marks an achievement for what uh, the university has done through the years. Founded in 1922, this school has roots that go back to the South African School of Mines, established in Kimberley in 1896. It was only befitting that the celebrations be held at the newly renovated Chamber of Mines building. We, while celebrating the uh, 90th birthday of FITS, we had to celebrate where we came from and where we are going to. And FITS started as the School of Mines in Kimberley, uh, which was established in 1896. So that's a, quite a long time ago. And it then moved to Johannesburg. Um, and the Faculty of Engineering later grew out of that, and today we've got a combined faculty so, um, of engineering and the built environment. The history of WITS is uh, linked to the mining industry, going back to 1896, 2004, when it moved to what was then the Transvaal. So very much the program that was right there at the beginning was mining and geology. So we felt that to mark as one of the events, to mark the 90th birthday, was to celebrate that part of our history as started off as a school of mines. Producing more than 130,000 graduates in its 90-year history has made a significant contribution to the South African economy and the world as we know it. Students were extremely proud to be part of the many that came before in this big leap. A lot has been developed, you know, just through this building alone in terms of actually, you know, the technology that's actually come into uh, play when it comes to actually extracting raw materials and so forth. So I think it's ideal for it to actually be in this uh, uh, specific location. To commemorate this event, a dark bronze sculpture of a dramatic silhouette was presented at the entrance of the Chamber of Mines. Named the Unknown Miner, the sculpture was donated by Louis Wald, the son of the late sculptor Herman Wald. The notion of the Unknown Miner for me makes a connection between this university, the mining industry, and the ordinary workers who in fact were responsible for bringing out that gold and the resources and the human sacrifices. Uh, that were made to uh, people who came to work uh, in this part of the world. 